Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am Britt. The cameraman is the beard. Today's video is going to be a chocolate chip recipe. This is a collaboration video. I am making chocolate chip sourdough discard cookies. So you're going to need one cup of browned butter. You just melt butter until it turns brown on the stove. Then you're going to want to cool it. Um, we stuck ours in the freezer for a few minutes to speed the process along. So that's why it stuck to the bottom. But it still came out and they still tasted delicious. So once you have your browned butter, you're going to want to add in sugar, which is two thirds of a cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar. And then you're also going to want to add in your vanilla at this time. The actual amount of vanilla that it calls for is one and a half teaspoons. Um, if you followed me for any length of time, you know, I don't measure my vanilla. I just measure with my heart. So I kind of guessed. But if you want the actual measurement, it's one and two thirds of a teaspoon. Once that is mixed, you're going to add in two egg yolks. After that is mixed, you're going to add in your sourdough discard. It's two thirds of a cup of your discard. And I was going to pour it into the measuring cup, but I didn't want to make a mess. So I just used a spoon and spooned it out, as you can see here. While you guys are um, watching me get the sourdough and fighting with it a little bit, I want to take the time to say thank you to the hosts of this video, which is Rob and Sumner. And I encourage you to check out their channel link. It will be in my description box as well as the playlist. I also encourage you to check out the playlist, guys, because I'm sure you're going to find lots and lots of cookie recipes. I'm actually pretty excited to see what everybody makes. Once that's mixed, you just want to give it a good scrape down the side of the bowl just to make sure you've got everything incorporated. Once that's done, you're going to add your dry ingredients. And your dry ingredients are two and three fourths cup of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and three fourths teaspoon of salt. That's the flour and the baking powder. And then here you'll see me getting the salt ready. I have no idea why the beard was pointing at that. I think he was asking me if we should mix it first, but I did not mix it and it still came out just fine. Now I added the baking powder. Once you have all of those ingredients, you want to slowly incorporate them into your wet mixture. Is all incorporated, you will add your chocolate chips. I used semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then after everything was incorporated, you're supposed to let it sit in the refrigerator for an hour. The recipe didn't say whether you were supposed to make the cookie shape before or after. I just took the dough and stuck it straight in the refrigerator for an hour. Next time I might try to make the cookies and then stick it in the refrigerator to see if that made a difference because they were kind of crumbly as I was putting them on the cookie sheet. Also here in a minute you're going to see that I have one cookie sheet and I made the dough and my cookie sheet held 15 cookies at a time. 
so I had to make several batches, which was fine. It wasn't a big deal, but this is a big batch. It makes probably 40 cookies, and as you can see here, I am putting them on the sheet, and I kind of had to press really firmly with the to make the shape of the cookies, but then you just want to bake these for 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees. I baked mine for 12 minutes each batch, and they came out perfect you guys these are the best cookies i think that i have ever had they were delicious i highly highly recommend that you guys make some sourdough discard chocolate chip cookies if you can a lot of people are getting into sourdough guys it's highly worth it